The Black Hole Forge is supposed is suspended below the hanging city. I found a switch in the Meltwater District that raises and lowers the forge. Huh. I would have assumed we had more entries here. Felt like we found quite a bit, but. What was your most uh, hilarious death? Luckless. Make us make make me feel better. <laughs> there we go. No, no. Nailed it. There a couple of times. What? What was that? Let's repair everything. I got crushed by the elevator. They never had these issues. It's refreshing to see someone else has. Yeah. I'm just playing to make you feel better. Crafty. Shortcut entry. Ah, nailed it. Uh, we go back to the city. Um, I wonder if we have one more level to explore there. And then there's there were also plenty of other paths here. Kind of want to continue with this before I move on. I can do anything with it, but maybe, right? Huh. Maybe there wasn't a... How am I supposed to get there? Can I get there? It really seem that way.
crafty maybe <clears throat> maybe it's not even a secret entry crafty maybe that's just the main entry <clears throat> maybe I can talk to be back now that I found out a couple of things oh boy Found all the important things, yes. Oh, you launched, that's great. Great job. Well, I guess that means I've been out here a while. Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. I'm in a hurry. Uh, I learned something. I found the Nomai escape pod on Brittle Hollow. Wow, so then the Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system. It must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod, but what kind of trouble? Where did the escape pod uh, launch from? I'm so curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more about how and why the Nomai arrived here. Learn something. I saw the Hanging City in Brittle Hollow. You visit the, visited the Hanging City. Oh gosh, how was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? The Hanging City is where the Nomai settled permanently in Brittle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement here. Why these? Why they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to you know what is beyond me. Maybe that kind of thing makes sense to a Nomai though. Maybe they needed the black hole for something. Okay. Gotta check if things are spooky. Yeah, I mean I I can relate. So, so I don't know what this leads, but ooh. This starts a whole... Okay. Oh boy. No! Didn't know that I could completely leave it. Oh boy. I love you, Mud. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Here we go again. Yeah, that would be an option like Vada does. The home mode. Let's do this again. Okay, ship isn't that far away. Actually pretty close. Oh, okay. Oh, what was that? Whoa, 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 Calm down. I want to heal. Maybe I should take my stick outside if I need some emergency marshmallows. Yeah, let's try that again. Obviously lost a lot of time here, so the pressure is on once again. Speed run. 
Yeah, this time I didn't just crash into it. Oh boy. Yeah, that, that's definitely something that uh, that's true that uh, kind of figure out. How to navigate things. Let's try that again. Hello there. Hey, Spellcaster, how are you doing? Be welcome in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend those, these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. That sounds good. Ain't no stairs there. Oh. So. Well, then I take the elevator. Well, I can send a scout in. The exploring going. I would say, for the most part, surface integrity 5%. What does that mean? Redacted. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The, the knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Might be a lucky person. The trees are moving. The trees in the sky. Oh, I did read about this. Oh, and then I wanted to check out this. Moving platform. Plume, Felix, and I have determined this atypical shot of rock is the reason. Objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. The only other object we've observed displayed the quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this groves are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentioned this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it is what if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis. This quantum chart is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Of note, a unique signal is coming from this chart. Curiously, our friends, our friend the wandering moon sounds the same. Okay. Didn't I actually went went down here last time? Didn't really. Yeah, 
I think I did, and then I stopped. Okay, there is this wall that you can climb. Oh yeah, and the, this is where I fell down. Remember. I don't know if I can actually climb this with the... I'm sure if my rocket is strong enough to get me all the way up there. Maybe. Because as soon as I leave it, I can't go up there anymore. I don't know. I mean, I clearly see this. I don't know how to get to this. And that's another thing. Like I, I feel like if I if it is something that I have to find out later and I'm now wasting I could try this, but then I fall fall down. See? I don't want to fall down and then the loop is over. <sighs> so I just don't do anything. Does this lead to the observatory? Maybe. Wait, what? Ooh. Ah, there goes the run. See, that, this is why I don't want to try out things, because it just ends in me falling down and then having to go back all the way again. I did not find that, no. Okay.
Surface integrity 0%. What's that mean? I think for me, um, with the, in terms of like the log, it's not really that I get lost too much. It's just the the path is pretty long. Do I have, have do I have to go um, down the same paths over and over again? I, uh, I cut it in uh, smaller videos or in uh, shorter videos. Quite well, but it's also easy to find then again. Like, but it would be the same the other way if, uh, if I would go to the way that I first saw Repack. I would be fine, like if you die, if that happens, or if you get transported. But then also the backtracking always takes takes away time from your exploration time. I feel like the further you get in one planet, it's the the amount of time that you just backtrack gets more and more. Where's the time for things that you actually get discover? Oh. Now I guess I know what surface integrity means. Maybe this way, though, in a kind of roundabout way, can actually enter the tower. If I can... Things are over now, though.
Yay! Well, back to the same planet again. Found out some things here at least. Would you not enjoy it more if you were if you went somewhere else in between Tranchi? Well no, because um like I kinda <clears throat> like then I feel like like I now worked towards a to, to kinda get a get a lead. <clears throat> kind of want to um, further explore it since there I now I saw that there are multiple paths to explore can't just ignore that it's kind of like seeing loot in a game even if you know that you don't have to pick it up now still pick it up yeah but then I don't know I, I kind of like to have it more structured but I guess I could do that yeah strange rock shot that one was, okay, this shot emits the same thing as the quantum moon, there's more to explore. Many Nomai went on a pilgrimage during which the quantum moon carried them to its sixth and most secret location. I mean, yeah, I guess, I, I can, I can just. here. Possibly I found a way to reach the core of Jones, yeah. Rumble. Hey, Dotso, welcome. I'm, I'm really enjoying the game. I'm having a good time with it. Uh, okay. Guess we can check out Dark, Dark Bramble then. Where is Dark Bramble? There it is. How are you doing, Dotso? Thank you for stopping by. <coughs> Please. That's good to hear. Have you played the game yourself? <sighs> Let's get to the plan planet. Plan planet. Speedrun it as well. Currently hold the record for one hundred percent. Nice. How how long? Uh, like, what's the record? Just to make me feel bad. <laughs> one hour seventeen minutes. Ooh, that's fast. Congrats. That's cool. Oh, is that the? What what moon is that? Did I? Oh, that's way out. It's gone now. Was that the quantum moon? Might be. I think so. I think it, it was the quantum moon again, if I would have to guess.
but because it's different every time, so I'm definitely not going to spoil. Yeah, that that, that is appreciated. Guess that's the antlerfish they talked about. Never mind. See, that is why I don't like exploring new planets. Crafty. I think we got eaten. Maybe that was the antlerfish, but I don't know. Now, I don't know if that always happened, or if I could have avoided it, or if I have to find out something else first. Ah. Oh. Here we go again. Very large tea, just I'm both hungry, yeah. That definitely seemed that way. Have an entry for that. Got eaten by giant mouth. No. Okay. 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 So, crafty doesn't allow me to go to Brittle Hollow again. So, let's go. What is this? What's this? No. Oh, what is this? This is all your fault, yes. I could, I could, oh, I think this is the Death Star again. Okay. That's the star that, or the, the moon that disappears. <laughs> well, that worked out well. I don't know what to do with that hat. I think we need some repairs. Nailed it. Perfectly landed, right? It's fine. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to show off the great engineers I put together. Oh boy. Looks kind of like the top of the tower. Let's see if I can enter it though. The sound is great so far. I think fine. Thank you so much for gifting us up to Dotso. Welcome to the Acolytes. This your pandas wisely. Oh, 
Wasn't there something here? Hello, welcome. So there must be a way to get Okay, so the sand is shifting and moving. Let's see. Must be way inside. Oh yeah, I agree. Crafty. Would be afraid of that too. So is the other one sucking up the sand? What's going on? I wanna be outside. Another out Super, ooh, that's not good. That is not good. Oh. Ow! We're not on the ground anymore. I'm screwed. Oh! Come on. Nailed it! Rip ship. Can I do anything here? Only 50% fuel remaining. And that is just... Oh boy. I don't think that will help, no. I need to put it in one of those uh, encryption thingies, but... I haven't found one yet. Yeah, I guess I could have tried that. I'm sure that will work. Oh, look at this. This is all free now. Ouch. Nailed it. Did I fly through the wall? I think I flew. I think I was flying through the wall. On the door! That is clearly one of those teleport things. It was easy. Just have to fly with full speed against the wall. <clears throat> I want to touch these because I'm. Oh, it's a ro robot. There. Aha!
Oof. Nailed it. Friends visiting from the Hanging City. We are playing the Ash Twin Project at the Higher Energy Lab on Amber Twin's equator. I became a lo I became lost on Amber Twin. My gratitude that uh, Raimi found me. But the High Energy Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. I imagine our otherwise immensely clever Kanoi would lose his own head if it weren't automatically impossible. Okay. Is there a door? Anything new here? We're low on fuel. Everything sucks. Oh! No, there was a door. <laughs> I mean, last time it put me inside the building, so... I speed into everything! Super high speed! That's a speed run for ya! <laughs> What's out the final boss for me? Yeah. Uh, certainly seems that way. Gravity is a jerk. Coffee refill, back to space. Space coffee. What did we find out? Several large Nomai towers form a ring around Ash Twins' equator. There's more to explore. Oh, no shit. The Ash Twin project was planned at the High Energy Lab, building with large solar panels on Ember Twins' equator. I guess we try this again. Maybe we go on the Amber Twin. Too fast! Back! Back! Nailed it! 
Wow, another perfect landing. Who would have thought? And who needs a landing camera anyway? Someone is drumming. May have landed a little far away. What is floating there? Don't want to get eaten by a giant maw again. Oh, we're fast, we're a little too fast. Look at him drumming and all. Shirt. Can I see the floaty thing? I think so. Business, it's you. Hello. Take it your first launch went well then. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. I'm at the sand now. What are you up to? Onefelds asked me to update our star charts. So I'm out here observing. This is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know? Sup, Jerd? Like how uh, whenever there's a buddy, there's tree, trees and fuel. <laughs> nice little safe zone, yeah. What's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernova today. Usually I'd be on... Fortunate to see just one. Keep an eye or two on the stars. Maybe you'll spot one yourself. Tell me, what can I do for you? I found something. I found my writing about a hidden planet. How fascinating. It might interest you to know the existence of an additional planet is entirely plausible. If you look at the physics of our solar system, it would just have to be incredibly far out there. <clears throat> Farther than half the ships would be able to travel. And honestly, we don't know all that much about what's out there. The farther you go, the less we know. As such, it's well within the realm of possibility that such a planet exists. Okay. How do I know if I've spotted a supernova? It's going to look like an extra bright start to the naked eye, but if you zoom in with your signal scope, you can tell that there are actually enormous explosions. Marshmallows, of course. Massive stars go supernova at the very end of their life span, which is why it's so unusual to see two in a single day. I wonder if some of these stars are older than we realize. What are you doing out here? Right now I'm documenting stars. Hornfelds noticed our star charts are out of date, so they asked me to update them. Please don't tell the others I said that, but sometimes I think the only traveler out here interested in doing any signs at all. Ah, uh, maybe don't tell Hornfelds either. I think they're pretty deep in denial. Where should I explore here? To be honest, I haven't left uh, this lake bed. I don't mean to brag, but I'm really quite good with the little scout, so I've been taking pictures of everything right here in my campsite. Have you seen the old shipwreck site on the Amber Twin Southern Hemisphere, the one shooting a bright beam of light into the sky? It's not one of our own crashes, surprisingly enough. This one's a Nomai ship. Making your brain supernova. You find no my ruins across the twins, but strangely not a single settlement. Believe me, if there was one to see, I'd have seen it with my little scout. So where did they live? Not on the surface, clearly. The Amber Twin is full of cave systems, though. Maybe the answer lies underground? Okay. How dangerous is that big column of falling sand? On a scale of 1 to dead, I'd give it a 7 or 8. Awfully pretty, though. But now sand is flowing from ash twin to amber twin, but did you know the process eventually reverses? We're not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between the twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomenon. Oh, if you'd like to see something interesting, check out the other twin once a, uh, once a little more of its sand drains up. I promise you won't be disappointed. Okay. Okay. 
saw something down there. How do I get there? That dying, that is. <sighs> okay. Kind of want to get there. It looks like a... Something significant. Aha! Very smooth landing, yep. Boinging. Nope, 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 nope. That was unfair. I wasn't looking. Collis is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave, the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole, several days ago, and we're unable to find any trace of him. I don't know how much air he had when he disappeared. Oops. Oops. I beg any friend reading this, help us recover Collius. Yeah, that was rude poke. This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my Sadamari friend? Because your unique color and texture appears identical to a rock I met earlier. Dwayne the rock? Wasn't there some rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed? The North Pole? We plan to re-examine the northern lake bed cave. Maybe our friend the rock will meet us down there. An update. Mallory and I went back to the lake bed cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's he it's there and sometimes it's it isn't. That means this rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. Nothing big. How rude! Didn't even say hello. <sighs> okay. And more down there. Kind of hard to tell. Shockingly enough, I don't want to die. Oh. Almost died. There's something. Very fast! It's both crafty. That'll help. Oh boy, not really my plan, but hey, worked, kind of. Haha! The Sunless City. Let's check this out. The shuttle is currently resting at the comet. Call the shuttle home. Actually, why would I call the shuttle home? I would call it shuttle. Oh. Oh. 
Why are those cacti not giving me any oxygen? How rude. Those cacti are incredibly rude. Huh. I fear our situation may be dire. Hi, Poke, and I landed on this comet not long after its arrival in the star system. Our shuttles could have been heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Clearly, Pi and Poke were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side, and they descended inside the in to investigate the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister had been gone for a long time. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. Should I have the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Hope Pi come back to me safely, my friends. Do I want to use the shuttle? It doesn't work. Did it work? Oh! Where are we? Oh, we're back here. Okay. Uh, what? I guess I, I, I'm not able to control any kind of spaceship. <laughs> See, the, the Nomai spaceships suck. And not as durable as ours. <gasps> yeah, Ed, tell me what happened. Coffee, I'm not quite sure. Go check this one out. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> 